the Gen Z that doesn't have kids in Bali. Even though Bangui doesn't have kids, but it still has various tourism objects. One of the famous tourism objects in Bangui is Batu Mountain. Batu Mountain, that we can see behind me, has gotten a predicate as the worst global geopark in Indonesia. That honorable predicate was announced by UNESCO through its official website in September the 22nd in 2012. So, want to know more about Batu Global Geopark? Check this out! This volcano stands tall in 1,717 meters above sea level and possesses a wide and beautiful caldera. Located in Kintamani Subdistrict, Bangli Regency, for about 50 kilometers from Denpasar Town or about 2 hours by car. Batur Volcano Mountain erupted about 29,300 years ago and destroyed half of the top of mountain. This powerful eruption was followed by the collapse of the mountain base self measuring 13.8 times 10 km square circular with a diameter of 7.5 km and formed the steep wall approximately 400 meters deep and the caldera happened. The second eruption occurred in 20,150 years ago in the center of the caldera and the lake of Batur is created by the first caldera and triggered the collapse of the mountain basalt that formed a circular caldera inside the first caldera and then called a second caldera. The lowest parts of the mountain south then become lakes caused by the accumulation of rainfall. consisted of the Caldera region which to be one of the important capital of the geological heritage in terms of landscape which is then recognized as the World Geopark. Predicated by UNESCO as one of the members of Global Geopark Network with the purpose to improve the conservation, education, and community surface, Batur Caldera have beautiful landscapes, volcanic ash fertile that used by farmers for variety of horticultural plants and crops, 
such as orange, coffee, onions, and so on. And this business can support the supply of food to the area around the mountain south or Surambali. Around the volcano Batur, there is a fertile agricultural area with source water from the lake. This region produces a lot of vegetable and freshwater fisheries, tourist services, including hospitalities and restaurants. The cultural site sung by the people around Caldera is also very attractive for the tourists. The people of Batur have a unique Balinese custom which is highly related with Hinduism in Bali. One of these widely known as funeral tradition in Trunyan village, Kintamani. In the funeral in this village, the corpse of the local resident is not buried under the ground but only placed on a big stone in three different locations. The unique part of this unusual funeral ceremony is that the corpse is amazingly orderless. Even though the corpse was not embalmed and still underwent natural decomposition process, it was believed that the manyan tree grown around the cemetery could absorb the odor. Some people also believe that it's the lake which absorbed the odor radiated by the decomposed bodies.
Trunyan is not only has a unique funeral tradition, but this village also retains a rare traditional dance that is not found in any other village. The dance is named Barong Brutuk. Barong Brutuk dance doesn't take the shape of animals, but instead of resemble a human being. Young men wear dry banana leaves during preparation for the sacred Barong Brutuk dance. The Barong Brutuk is a rarely performed ritual that has costumes made from dry banana leaves and wooden masks. This dance is only danced by young men of Trunyan village who have been purified, selected, and then go through a quarantine for 42 days. There are 21 masks of Barang Kutuk that represent the rule as a king, a queen, a knight, and a king's brother and other members. During the dance, the people who watch will attempt to steal the banana leaves while the dancers will try and hurt the people who try to take the leaves. Banana leaves that are stolen are believed to be a lucky charm and be